Hey guys, it's Micah from Gaining Experience, and yep, I grabbed a copy of Secret of Mana as soon as it was released here in, in Canada. So first things first, ooh, it's really retro. I'm gonna be playing this up until I get to, ooh, up until I get to Randy, yeah, that's his name. Uh, until I get to the next character, uh, and then that means Brian can play if he gets off his butt. Long ago. The world prospered and humanity thrived. So this game, thanks uh, to uh, first power, created in no E3 for the SNES, has now been re re HD'd for the PS4. However, humans soon sought to use mana to create the ultimate weapon. I'm pretty sure this is like the uh, their way method of flushing out a lot of uh, story points and points that they they missed out on on the, the gods, translation, like the original uh, translation for the game. Unleashed vicious beasts into the world. A violent like, for example, the opening sequence the that we're seeing here now is a lot more fleshed out than the world in poison and fire until mana had all but disappeared. In humanity's bleakest hour, a hero wielding the mana sword appeared and destroyed the fortress. Foreshadowing. The Probably world have to do that was too. left in shambles. And yet, humanity persevered, and there was peace throughout the land. But as time passes, so history repeats. Uh, it's been said that this game got a lot of updates uh, since its original. Hey! Like, not just graphically. Guys! Wait! Up! Whoa! Shh! Be quiet, stupid. If the Elder finds us here, we're done for. I guess they kept his face yeah. like that forever. We're not supposed to be here. Everyone, Everyone in the, the village, village knows, knows about, about the, the ghost. ghost. Very sassy you child. You really believe that old fib? The grown-ups just say there's a ghost to scare us away. But I did hear Grandma say she saw something shiny by the falls when she was little. Hmm. Maybe it's treasure. Let's go find it. Let's go. Uh, help! I'm gonna fall! Ah! Oh no. Bail. Oh man, that sucked. Oh, whoa. Ouch. What I really like is that the map on the top right uh, is basically the SNES art. There's no way back up. Used as a mini map. Now what am I gonna do? What the hell was that? The village is this way, but I'll never get through here without a weapon. No, nope, these weeds, they're too formidable. Cutscene. I can't actually press a button to progress this, the dialogue speed. That's here? a little crazy. Oh, too right. What's with this light? I'm blind. Oh, ghost. Listen. I entrust the sword.
Thank you? Huh? What do you mean? Ugh. What's up with this sword? What? That's glowing? Oh, nothing. The it does that. Fading already. Oh, I have to get back to the village! Focus, kid. Let's drop the sound effects a little bit. Oh, really hitting hard the nostalgia here. Shortcuts. Cool. Oh. Okay, yes. I I vaguely remember having to tell your teammates how, how to fight. Well, let's get going. I can cut my way through with this. You sure can. Whoa! What's a rabbi doing in a place like this? Being adorable. Stabby, stabby. Village is it's only in one direction, so. Candy. It's crazy in this version. This is on, has online co-op play, which is crazy when you think about it. I mean, it was one of those natural progressions when you make this game, but well, that was just really weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what leveling up does for you. Maybe it's like to learn skills. I wonder if they added anything to the storyline too. Or just more side quests.
So any of you uh, uh, Skate Experience fans who's never played uh, Secret Mana Way Back, it used uh, an active system and uh, like a stamina system at the bottom that keeps on resetting to 100. I'll probably have to explain this to to Ryan later, but uh, the higher, the closer to 100% literally means how much strength are you putting into your swings. 100% of your strength, you know, 50 of it. Did you see that? Something lit up the sky near the falls a moment ago. I'm pretty sure all the music's been heavily remixed. Hey, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. I'll tell the elder on you. Please don't. The elder was looking for you. What did you do this time? Okay, if they voiced everybody, that's a lot of NPCs. Oh, right. And they animated the dancer at the full time now. On an errand for the Elder? Don't dawdle. Welcome. What Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Come again. And it was uh, heavily remembered uh, because of the, the way that the equipment, spells, the entire menu system was ring based. As soon as you got the hang of it, it was so cool. A little clunky at first, but kind of cool. Oh, I could watch that the the shopkeepers dance all the time. There's an unfamiliar face in here. He looks kind of scary. Kind of scary. I don't know. I think that guy is a knight. What's he doing in a little village like ours? Probably checking out our dancing. Pub, then? Oh, it's you. Elliot just stopped by, but he didn't look too good. What happened? Well, uh, let's go deal with the storyline. It's gonna get tough now. Oh, you're all right. Elliot just told me what happened. I thought you were a goner. That's why I told you not to bring someone like him along. You idiots. None of you were supposed to wander into Wait, that area. Like, really passing the blame there, kid. What's that you have there? Oh no, it couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? Where did you go? What have you done? That's the mana sword. There's no way you could have pulled it free. This is true. Mana sword? But he legend couldn't, says the village he can't take it out unless either removed. there's a huge drop of mana or something bad's gonna happen I soon never already. Thought it'd come to this. I the think I'm 100 percent sure it's backwards how disaster. this village thinks that. As soon as you pull out the sword, so monsters come. the reason all those monsters are attacking us. You yanked out the sword and doomed the whole village. It's your fault, you outsider. Hey, stop! Shut up. It's all your fault. Leave me alone! Yeah, stop. Like, piss off. I'm the one with the sword. Wait. It's a little more heavy metal version of, this, of the music, but the grumps are right. This is the song you sing when you, when you really gotta, when you're on the high, when you really gotta go to the bathroom. Top all, uh... Oh god, he's already casting spells? Oh, that's not fair. I just got up. Uh, 
Unfair, unfair. Yes. Woohoo! First try. Way to go. Sword orb. You did well. Wait there. I'll pull you up. We should be doing work, but instead we're playing video games. So I skipped that cutscene just because it's uh, it's just basically we're we're getting kicked out of the uh, the town because they think that uh, we're the cause of all the monster attacks. I think it's a little bit backwards. I think the monster attacks were going to happen anyway. The sword was just protecting as best they could, but you know whatever. It's their town. They can kick me out if they want. Do you have everything you need? Yeah, I don't need to come back here. By order of the Elder, you have been banished from Poto's village. Now be gone! Be that way. I'm out of here. Boy. Take this, Rapid. Give me some candy. Yes! Good, good animal. Uh, the cannon travel sensor. Yeah, uh, it's quick travel system in this game. If you can't fly yet, you just shoot you in a cannon. Hi! We, the Cannon Travel Brothers, are building a global network. Going to the Water Palace? Gemma's already left. It only takes one blast to get there by cap. No thanks. You sure? Well... Yeah, I'm walking. I want to get some experience. It could be fast to just get to the Water Palace, but it's more rewarding if you actually just grind a little bit. I don't know if, like, I chose hard, right? Oh, I didn't actually check, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's no difficulty system, but you can actually change it to original. Alright, yeah, let's get old school. Oh, for an audiophile like me, this is awesome. Take that, plant. Don't fool me. Go north. Mushroom! You look surprised? Well, it's not anymore. Oh, I kind of just stabbed him in the junk. It's a new game, right? So I gotta see what it's all like. What? Item limit? Is that just to make it difficult for me? If I, want, if I wanted to do, like, true traditional, I would keep it to four item limit, but come on. I want to have some fun with this game. Welcome to Neko's. Do you need anything? What you got? Oh, you're interested. What'll it be? Perfectly priced items available. Buy them. Sell them. Wristband. Does that have a shield? I've already got a hat on. Barrel? Barrel! Cup of Wishes. That's this game's uh, revival item. Chocolate. Anything else? 
Oh, thanks. That's you made. Cool. It's a dog. It was a good rest stop. I didn't need healing, but you know. Getting an armband was probably the right thing to do. Across this chasm. Oh. That's our leader, Major Dyluck. He's young, but no one doubts his skills. He knows how dangerous this mission is, but I've never seen the Major waver. Oh. Major Dyluck, sir. All set. Understood. Stay focused, men. Let's move out. I guess I talked to them enough. Remember, I haven't played this in so long. Ah, I see. So, like, a lot of the story back, uh, backgrounds are going to be a bit lost on me. Alright, it's the Water Temple. So, yeah, this game uh, uh, forces you to go to each elemental temple to reclaim the mana, mana lost, in the sword. Of course, that just means big adventures to each, uh, each palace. And I'm deciding to ignore that right now. Check out what's back here. Ah, I see. Come straight here, did you? No, I had to kill things and look, talk to a talking cat. A little bit weird for a loading spot. Yeah, this introduces uh, the fact that switches are a thing, and they will have to be a puzzle Im implement later. This kind of space looks obvious for a fight at one point, right? Hey, lady. Uh oh, where's Luca? I guess I'll ask that girl over there. Hey, where do I find Luca? Mind your manners. It's nice to see you again, Sage Luca. <laughs> You're very welcome. Wait, you, you mean, mean this, this little, little girl, girl? is two hundred years old? <laughs> I run away. I'm going downstairs. Storyline is fine and all, but I don't gotta look for treasure. Oh, there's nothing here. That little walnut up there is basically what powers the sword. So, I gotta find more walnuts. Luke, monsters have started invading villages. This young boy just fought one himself. You underestimate my intelligence. World news flows into this palace with the water's own currents. It's a bit sassy. Mana grows ever weaker. That could explain how this child was able to take the sword from its place of rest. His actions caused the balance of mana in this area to shift. Beasts are now rampaging across so the So the world was already like draining, so like the process of re, re revitalizing the mana in the world, world is, is it, it features around like just grabbing the sword and doing it, right? 
so risk for reward. By defeating monsters and obtaining their ore, it looks like your sword regains some power from vanquishing the Mantis Ant. There are more hidden orbs with the mana power to revive the sword. You, you must, must find, find them. them. I was once one of Sage Lucas' pupils. And what happened? I studied how mana sustains our entire world, and how it's been slowly fading away. Can I, can I do it then? Gemma, I want you to keep an eye on the Empire. It seeks the mana fortress's power. Fortress? Like the one that destroys the world in that fairy tale? This is no, no fairy, fairy tale. tale. We're talking about the real mana fortress and the Empire that wants its power. The yeah. Empire will try to break the seals on the mana seeds in each palace. I've already caught some Empire spies snooping around my own palace. There are strange reports coming in from Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I do not know. Gemma, you should request an audience with the king and tell him to this, be wary of This temple doesn't really have high security though. I like, just waltzed on in. Now. Like the switches. Get for the cave simple. in Gaia's navel. There's a dwarf blacksmith that lives in the area. Dwarves are known for their weapon making skills. You should see if they can reforge the sword. As the sword becomes more powerful, your skills will improve and you'll learn more abilities. Okay. You so eons ago, it's not I don't really feel I just wanted to get to the sea. You remained rebuilt the world. You wield the legendary mana sword, but its power has faded. Now it's hardly better than a normal weapon. It's too it bad. used the last of its power to choose a new master. If the Empire restores the fortress, they'll drain the world of mana power. You see. must restore the mana sword to full power before then, or the world will be destroyed. Okay. So, where do I fit in? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Okay. Come, hold the sword up to the seed on the altar. Oh yeah, give me that wall nutty power. What, what happened? The seed and the sword have now synchronized with each other. Now no matter where you are in the world, this mana seed can grant power to your mana sword. You found one of the eight palaces. Eight. Now Agreed. you must visit the others and obtain the powers of their seeds. Worry about you out in the world with only a rusted sword. Take this spear I imbued with holy water. Use it along with the mana sword, and it too will regain its true power. I'll heal you. Would you like to save the game? <laughs> what are you talking about? Save the game? <laughs> First, take Gemma's advice and head to Gaia's navel. There you can find the underground palace. I'm not going to anyone's navel, but until then, I'll see everybody later in the next episode.